Welcome grade threes to WorksheetCloud.com's online lessons. I'm Mrs. Nicole Frank and I will be doing English home language with you today. So, who am I? Well, in the very beginning when we started these lessons, I did a grade three math lesson. So maybe you haven't met me then. But today I'm going to be teaching you something to do with describing things okay so i hope that you're going you're a little excited to get into this with me um what i need you to have is a pencil or a pen and a page and i hope that we are going to learn and have lots of fun okay great threes so i hope you're ready let's get going If you have any questions, grade threes or concerns or something you feel I didn't cover, please send an email to grade three at worksheetcloud.com and then we can get back to you as soon as we can after this lesson. And if mommy or daddy or Ma or Pa or anyone has a question about the lessons or as it's going on or when the next one's going to be, please direct them to the FAQs at this website. Okay, so let's move on grade threes. So today we're going to be doing adjectives, okay? And adjectives are describing words. So like big, small, beautiful, clever, red and round and juicy. So it's all words that tell us more about nouns and we're going to learn more about adjectives as the lesson goes on. So I hope you're super excited grade threes because now we're going to learn some interesting, wonderful, amazing words. I hope you saw what I did there. So the lesson overview. What are we going to learn in this lesson? Well, we're going to learn what adjectives are. We're going to learn how to find adjectives. And we're going to learn how to use adjectives, okay? So that's the three things we're going to learn in this lesson. And those are the three things that I'd like you to know by the end of this lesson. So if you didn't understand it or something was missing, please send us an email to that email I told you about earlier. Okay? So, what are adjectives? Adjectives describe nouns. Remember nouns? Teacher Les did, did nouns a few, uh, few lessons ago. Okay, so I hope that you remember that, that lesson. And if you don't, you can always go back and watch it again after this one. They tell us more about those nouns. So instead of saying a boy or a girl, we can say the tall boy or the pretty girl, okay? And that adjective will tell us more about the noun girl or boy. So let's see how we can find examples of adjectives, okay? So this is a bee. Hope you can all see my cute little bee over here, grade threes. And this is a yellow bee. Can you all agree with me, grade threes, that this bee is yellow? Okay. This is a friendly bee. And how can I say that it's a friendly bee? Because I can see that the bee has a smile on his face. So I think that this bee is very friendly. This is a small bee. I would think that this would be a baby bee. So the baby bee is small. So those three words over there that I have indicated in a different color, those words tell me more about this bee. And they are describing the bee. Okay? The words yellow, and I'm going to move out of your way now because otherwise you can't see the words that I'm going to click on. Friendly and small. So those three words are now telling me more about the bee. And they are called adjectives. So by now we know that adjectives describe nouns. 
and they tell us more about them. And if we put them, and if we look at a picture and we describe the picture, the words that are helping us describe the picture, those are our adjectives. How to find adjectives, okay? Adjectives sometimes comes before nouns. For example, there was a tall giraffe. So, I'm going to get my pen out and you can maybe get your pen out, grade threes, and we can start writing together. So, that is a terrible color. Right, let's go. So, adjectives sometimes come before nouns. So, my noun over here is my giraffe, okay? And I am making a little squiggly under my giraffe because that is the noun. So, let's see what our giraffe looks like. And there he is, and teacher is blocking him. So I am going to move out of your way. So there's our giraffe. And in front of the word giraffe, we see the word tall. And the word tall is telling us more about that giraffe. He's not just any giraffe, he is a tall giraffe. So this word over here, this word tall. Is telling us more about our giraffe, and therefore that is an adjective. It's a describing word. Adjectives can also be somewhere else in the sentence, but still tells us more about the noun. So even sometimes the adjective isn't before the noun, and then you say, uh oh, but then how am I going to find? where this adjective is. So then we look at our sentence, okay? And I have an example for you. The giraffe was tall. So instead of saying there was a tall giraffe, now the sentence is the giraffe was tall. But the word tall is still telling me more about my word giraffe. So it is still an adjective. There we go. And we found our word Tall. Let's use some adjectives. So, in this part of the lesson, we are going to put three, well, two pictures with three nouns in them, okay? Now, there are many nouns. You can wear clothing, and clothing is a noun, but we're going to have three main nouns here, and it's going to be a boy, a dog, and a girl. Let me put the pictures up. Look at the pictures and think of words that describe them. And I, once again, am going to move right to the top over here so that you have some space to see. Okay, so I'm going to leave these two pictures on the screen for a little bit, grade threes. And I want you to look at them and then think or write down, okay, or shout out all the words you can think of they tell us more about those two pictures. So what is the girl wearing? Look at the girl's hair. Look at what she's wearing. Look at the shoes. Look at the boy. What is he doing? How does he look? Okay? How does the dog look? Think about it. And you can write it down on your page or you can shout it out if you don't feel like writing right now. And think of the words that are describing these two pictures. I'm going to leave it on for a few seconds. A clue, grade three is is that sometimes the first adjectives we can find are colors, right? And those colors describe what people are wearing or how they look, okay? So think of what color is the girl's hair, what color is the boy's hair, okay? What color scarf is she wearing, okay? What color clothing is she wearing? And then you can see how many adjectives you can come up with.
So I'm going to you start with the girl, okay? And then we're going to work together and I'll give you some time again to go back to the boy. So let's look at the girl for now and see how many adjectives we can come up with to describe the girl. So the first thing that you can see is that she's got pink hair. Pink, okay? That is so cool and so strange because it's not normal when it's not we don't normally see girls having pink hair sometimes we see it right but it's not usual that we get to see them sometimes so it's pretty cool to see some pink hair i would think she looks tall i mean some of you might have written small but that's okay tall i think she's tall to me she's pretty okay she's got pretty blue eyes and she's got L little hands over here and I think she's little I think she's pretty she's wearing a purple skirt and actually a purple top so that makes me that's one of the colors that I would use to describe what she's wearing and I think she seems cold grade threes because she's wearing a lot of clothing she's got stockings on over here she's got a warm jersey and a scarf so I would think that she's cold. Now remember grade threes, if you didn't get any of mine, but you have your own, like you have blue, because I didn't put blue there, and you have short, or you have quiet, that's okay. Grade threes, your adjectives are your adjectives, and we can have different adjectives as long as you have words that describe the girl. So now we are going to look at the boy and his dog. And I'm going to give you a few seconds to try and describe the boy and his dog. Remember, it doesn't matter what I have alone. We can have different adjectives, okay? The practice is that I want you to see if you can just identify different words that can tell us more about those two nouns. Right, so let's see what words I had. The dog looks friendly to me. Okay, so I put in the word friendly. Boy seems tired because he's laying down. So I would think he's tired. I see he's got a blue book and what looks to be a blue sweater. His hair is blonde. Okay, so I think that, so that's one of the words I would use to describe him is that he's got blonde hair. And I said that he was clever. Okay, why would I think he was clever? Well, because he's reading a book, okay? So I think he's pretty clever. And as you can see, grade threes, I have different adjectives and you can have different adjectives. And, and I'm sure there are many, many more we could use to describe these two nouns or these two people okay and obviously our dog over there the point is that you have to just try and use some more words to give the characters life and that's what adjectives does okay they bring life to characters instead of saying there's a boy they say there's a blonde clever blue eyed tired boy okay so we use these words to create an image. We can say that it is creating a vision in our minds or an image. And using that image, we can picture what our characters look like. And it works perfectly when you are writing a story. Or when you are reading a story, it helps you see the character better. Okay. And like I said, there are many more other adjectives that we could have used in this example. So let's try to find as many adjectives as we can.
Over here is a paragraph, and our paragraph is about a girl named Mary. In this paragraph, K3s, I want you to find as many adjectives as you possibly can, and we're going to give ourselves a mark afterwards. So, I'm going to get my pen ready, and I hope that you have your pen ready, or pencil. But before I put anything down, I'm going to leave this paragraph on here for you, and you can identify the adjectives first. So, what, how am I going to help you? I'm going to read it for you first, and you can read aloud at home as well, <laughs> and follow me. And then we're going. Then I'm going to leave it on for a few seconds so that you can identify the different adjectives. Okay, ready, steady, let's go. Mary enjoyed playing outside. She played with her friendly dog and her small kittens. Mary is a pretty girl with red hair and brown eyes. She is tall. Mary only plays when it is a sunny day. Great threes, I hope you heard all those adjectives in the paragraph. I'm going to leave it for a few seconds on you so that you can identify them. And then we're going to see how many we got right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the paragraph again. And as I read, we're going to identify the different adjectives that we find. So, Mary enjoyed playing outside. She played with her friendly dog and her small kittens. I can see some adjectives. Can you, grade three? Well, let's see. We have a noun over here, dog, and we have now a noun over here, kittens. And what word is telling me more about the dog? Well, my word, friendly. I'm going to draw a circle around my word, friendly. And that's our first adjective, grade threes. I hope you got that one. And then, small kittens, telling us more about the kittens. Very good. I think I want to use more color, so I'm going to change the color of my pen. Okay, Mary is a pretty girl. That is telling me more about Mary. So she's a pretty girl. Okay. And I know some of you are super smart. Sorry, let me go back. Some of you are super smart and you're already ahead of me, and that's okay. <laughs> so, Mary is a pretty girl with red hair. With red hair, not brown or blonde or black. She's got red hair. So, okay, that's telling me more about Mary and her hair. And she's got brown eyes. So, that's telling me what color her eyes are. She's got brown eyes. Very good. She is tall. Now remember we've, we said in one of the previous slides that sometimes the adjective isn't before the noun. But it still tells us more about the noun. So they say she is tall. So she's tall. So that means that's telling me more about Mary. And it's an adjective. Mary only plays when it is a sunny day. So she can't go out when it's cold or when it's rainy. She can only go out when it's a sunny day. And that's an adjective. So there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven adjectives in this paragraph. Great threes. So how many did you get? Give yourselves a mark out of seven. And if you got seven out of seven, great, well done. And if you didn't, you know, you always try for next time because practice makes perfect. Okay, so look at our different adjectives and see that we can find them when we get a paragraph. And when your teacher at school asks you to identify adjectives, you can do them. 
So, what have you learned today? And now we're going to do this together. In the beginning of this lesson, I said there were a few things that I wanted us or wanted you to learn by the end of this lesson. So, do you know what adjectives are? If you do, great, and we're giving it a tick. Can you find adjectives? If you can, great, great threes, and we give ourselves a tick. Can you use adjectives? Awesome, and we give ourselves a tick. And if you can't, great threes, please send us an email and we can go back over adjectives again if we need to. Okay, because remember, we need your feedback, especially if, we know, if, we, if we're still not understanding something. So, remember, you can send any questions about this lesson to grade3 at worksheetcloud.com. An activity and memo is provided for you after this lesson. So, grade 3s, if you still don't understand what adjectives are, or you felt that I went too fast, or you didn't understand something, please send us an email to, to grade3 at worksheetcloud.com. And I provided an activity and a memo for you to check whether you understood the work. And I really hope you did. Great threes, I hope you enjoyed this. And from me, Miss Nicole Frank, I wish you a wonderful day further. Goodbye.